Okay. So today we're gonna do something kind of cool. We're gonna go to downtown Portland, Oregon. And I chose another hotel for a photo shoot called the Royal Sinesta. And I chose it based on the decor. I think it's just so interestingly decorated. And I think Portland is the only one that's decorated like this. I think that line of hotels, that chain of hotels is all over the country, but each one is decorated differently if I'm correct. And actually Portland is the one I thought was the coolest and I live here. So since I'm not going on a vacation this summer, why not do a little staycation and take some fun photos? So let's go. Okay, you want me to do this? You know what? I got it. I got this. Okay, you sure? Yeah. <laughs> is it stuck? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Too much baggage now. Let me make sure it's the right room first. No shit. <sighs> yeah, it is. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. So we made it to the room, and it's the one I wanted because I wanted to make sure it had this purple chandelier and this couch. I'll get a better shot of it later, but this room is really cool. Look at the carpet. <laughs> and we step back here so I'll start from the beginning <laughs> you come in and it has this interesting like bunny picture and this little sink thing right in this hallway and here and then when you come over here there's a fridge and there's this really cool like cabinet thing, look at that. There's the TV in there and it has this cool head statue thing. And I'm sure that these light up and that's gonna be really cool at night. And then look at this, this really cool chandelier. If I can get it to focus with the light outside coming in. Look how cool this is, this glass. Let's see, yeah, it's glass. And this couch. So I thought that's gonna be really cool for pictures right here. Isn't that cool? And these interesting chairs here at the table. And then even over here, there's like a little couch and a little chandelier. And we got a little view of Portland, not a great one, but a little view of Portland out there. the TV and the bed and the only thing I didn't like about this room was this I didn't like this pattern here but that's not gonna be too noticeable right there on the skirt but it has this really interesting wallpaper in here these birds and here's the bathroom and I think this is cool with the green glass right here. <laughs> so, this is gonna be really cool for pictures. And this used to be the old Monaco Hotel and you can see it, still a hint of it here. Monaco Hotel. City of Roses, because they call Portland the City of Roses. And there's interesting wallpaper in here, just buildings and stuff like that. Oh, it's Portland because this is a Portland bridge. So, yeah, very Portland hotel. <laughs> a little closet, back out here, bad, so cool. Hmm. 
<laughs> Everything's like battery operated for the blinds. Here seems to be. Okay. Oh, it's doing both of them. so run down out here though look how run down it is like that building is completely like gone graffitied up this one's boarded up looks like that's closed for good over there it's weird it's a really hot day it's like 95 degrees and the restaurant and the hotel is closed so we're trying to find somewhere to eat which is not what i want to do is walk around downtown portland but it's gonna be a problem if we don't eat. So, <laughs> let's figure this out. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear. Maybe this dress, it's interesting, huh? Get those earrings again. The earrings that I was going to wear, the back of them broke as I was putting them on. So I'm like, okay, thanks. But look at this. I got a nice light set up and I thought, this is kind of cool for this room, like this outfit. Yeah. So we'll start with something not as sexy and then we'll go sexy. <laughs> so. This was the earring that I wanted to wear so that it was cool with the yellow. But look, as soon as I try to put on the back, it fell like broke off. So there's no way I can put on my ears. So I don't know what to do. It's disappointing because this would look cool with the room, you know? Here. I am surprised because I haven't really walked around downtown Portland in quite a while now. And it is not good. It is not the Portland that I knew. It's like so many boarded up buildings, so much graffiti. There's just like this dirty feeling. You feel a little unsafe, you feel a little, un a little uncomfortable. And then we found out that like most places are closed on Monday here in downtown Portland, which is weird. It was never like that, like ever. We did some walking around, couldn't find a restaurant open. And uh, it just started feeling unsafe. So we ended up just having to go to Taco Bell, which is not what I wanted to do. But when you're hungry, you're hungry. And if you don't have any other options, So I was just looking out the window here and I noticed that we would have the best shot of Mount Hood if it wasn't for this building <laughs> right in the way. If you can kind of see it like there, my finger, see right there? <laughs> but it is blocking it. Something kind of silly that I just noticed. <laughs> Only because the room's getting darker and most of these light bulbs are burnt out in the chandelier. Somebody went and put like a washcloth up in there over that light. Like maybe they thought it was too bright or something. And like this piece is broken. Like there's a whole part, see how it's broken right there? It's broken down and they won't, they didn't change the other light bulbs.
1 and 0. Okay, I wasn't even thinking I was going to film anything today, okay? And then I looked at all my footage and I go, I didn't even end this video. I got so distracted with taking pictures till 5.30 in the morning. Yes, I took pictures until I couldn't anymore, okay? When you get a fancy hotel room, you take as many pictures as you can until you can't anymore. That's how it goes. And by the way, that was the Grand King Suite. If you want to get that room, it was the Grand King Suite. It's not just their standard room. Anyways, yeah, it was passed out and then woke up, tried to pack up everything to leave and get out of there because I didn't want to have any problems with checking out or leaving or anything like that. But I'm really sad about Portland. I'm like, I don't think it's ever gonna be the same again. And I've lived here my whole life and I've never seen it like this. And I really thought that after all the riots that things would have been cleaned up because that was like over a year ago and they still haven't. It's like, it feels like the living room to the homeless people when you're down there. Like it's just normal. That's how it feels like. Everyone's just used to this now. I don't really go downtown very often. But it was sad, it was sad. And I'm worried that so many cities now are just the same way. I haven't been traveling, but I feel like they probably are. And that just makes me sad about the world and what's gonna happen and what does the future hold and, and all of those things and, and all that. And for somebody that really would like to have some new people in their life, I'm really afraid to go out and meet people can't really deal with another crazy situation if you know what I mean so the pictures turned out great maybe I'll mm, I didn't bring that camera over Ugh. see the thing is I have two different cameras I have my photography camera and then I have my video camera I didn't bring that camera over here okay <sighs> I might have to put that in a different video then anyways if you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe. And it was uh, fun to hang out wild animals. Remember to always have patience with people because we're all going through something. All right, I'll see you next time.